The topic we have before us for today's class is inequality. What is inequality? It is simply a mathematical statement that compares two expressions. This statement resembles the usual equation, except for the fact that the equality sign in the equation is replaced by any of the following. It is either replaced by this symbol over here, and this symbol represents less than. It can also be replaced by this symbol, which shows greater than or is greater than. So we are comparing two expressions. What is on the left hand side for this case is less than what is on the right hand side. While for this case over here, what is on the left hand side is greater than what is on the right hand side. The same thing ap applies to what we have over here. And this is equal to or it states that what is on the left hand side is less than or equal to because it is the combination of two signs. We have the less than sign and the equal to sign. Is that understood? So we also have its counterpart which is greater than or equal to. Alright, so the approaches or steps involved in solving inequality problems just are the same okay as that of linear equations the only difference is that the equality sign is changed to the appropriate inequality signs in the solution is that understood so when we multiply or divide or perform any operation in inequality we can take reference from our knowledge of equality do you understand is that the only difference or the slight difference is whenever you see equality sign in the conventional linear equations it is replaced by an appropriate inequality sign and the inequality signs we use are the ones i have just mentioned here is either less than or greater than or less than or equal to or greater than or equal to so having said that, we are going to consider some problems involving inequalities. Now, before we consider the problems involved in inequality, I want you to take note of this, that whenever we have a particular scenario or a case where we have to divide or multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative number. If the number we are using to divide both sides of the inequality equation is a negative number then we have to reverse the inequality sign in the solution is that okay so take note of this particular factor so when we are dividing by a negative number then we we'll have to reverse the inequality symbol is that okay so in in a case where let's say we have minus x, okay, less than or equal to 5. And I am looking for x, not minus x. So the only way I can do this is to divide through by minus 1. All right? If I divide through by minus 1 and divide through by minus 1, it will be wrong of me to say that x is still less than or equal to 5. You can, I can't say x is less than or equal to minus 5. So since I am dividing true by minus one i would have to reverse the inequality sign or symbol that is concerned and the inequality symbol that is concerned here is less than or equal to so this would therefore give me x is greater than or equal to minus five because initially if minus x is less than or equal to five then it then it shows that x will be greater than or equal to minus 5. It is logically correct. Is that okay? So when we are to divide or multiply both sides of the inequality equation by a negative value or a negative number, then we will have to reverse the inequality symbol that is concerned, just like I have illustrated here. All right, so let us consider the example 
we have over here. The question is, evaluate the value of x in the inequality below. Evaluate the value of x in the inequality below. Now, we have this, just like in the normal or in the conventional linear equation. This looks like 3x minus 4 equals 8, right? It is. But we say that since we are working with inequality, this sign over here is changed to greater than. It could be changed to less than or less than or equal to, whichever way. Is that okay? So just like the method we use in solving the linear equation, we can still apply it in the inequality problems. And this will give us 3x. If I decide to add plus 4, if I decide to add 4 rather to both sides, I would have minus 4 plus 4 greater than 8 plus 4. The reason why I have to add plus 4 to both sides is so that I can annul the effect of minus 4 on the left hand side such that x will now be allowed to stand alone. Is that okay? So if I cross this, I'll be left with 3x is greater than 12. 3x is greater than 12. Now I am asked to look for x, not 3x. So the next step is to divide through by 3 so as to make x stand alone. So all over 3, all over 3. And uh, this will cancel out. This will cancel this to give us 4. Therefore, x is greater than 4. This is our final answer. x is greater than 4. Now, this is the normal scenario. In our next class, we'll discuss another scenario where we'd have to divide both sides of the equation by a negative number, just like I have pointed out in our previous slide. Okay, so see you in our next class.